We wanted to talk to you about the incident that occurred at Frederick High School yesterday. A JV basketball game was going on when a shooting occurred outside of the gymnasium and several students who had been outside at the time of the shooting came back into the lobby of the gymnasium. This obviously created some fear among those who were in the basketball game. And so our police officers responded quickly and immediately. There was a lockdown put in place at the school. Students, parents, staff members were asked to move into the cafeteria so that the police could begin their investigation. Administrators from both schools came and were on the scene and worked with the police so that students, parents who were in the building could be interviewed. We were then able to get everyone escorted out of the building and the two students who were injured were taken to shock trauma, but they do not have life-threatening injuries. Mr. Young, did you want to talk a little bit about what you saw happening this evening at the school? Yes, uh, tonight we had our budget hearing in Oakdale and we received information that the shooting had occurred at Frederick High. Uh, I arrived at Frederick High about 8.45 and was taken to the command center in the high school. Uh, at that point, the school was uh, under control of both Frederick City, uh, Frederick County Sheriff's Department, and Maryland State Police, uh, who had a large presence there, as well as our uh, ambulance and fire crews that were there uh, on the scene as well. Uh, at that point, again, our staff and the police department had uh, the school under control, had mobilized and, and centralized where all the students and folks that were in the building were to make sure that they were safe, uh, and also were in the process of making sure uh, that the building was safe and at what point they could release uh, the students and the folks that were there at the basketball game and other events at the school that evening. I want to say that the police department and our staff did an outstanding job uh, in handling the situation. When you have a crisis, uh, again, having a good crisis management team is extremely important to make sure that the uh, scene is safe, to make sure that people are, are doing things in an orderly fashion, to make sure information is getting out. And again, the police and our staff worked very well together this evening. And to be able to see it firsthand was, was uh, uh, quite remarkable how well they worked together. And again, uh, kept things in an orderly fashion. And the students and the parents who were in the building, they stayed calm, they were cooperative. It was a true testament to the caliber of staff, students, and parents in the Frederick High School community who were there. And as Mr. Young indicated, when a crisis occurs, you really can see planning, collaboration, how smoothly things went. I also want to make sure that people realize what happened this evening does not define in any way what Frederick High School is all about. We all know that there are issues many times that are out there in the community that sometimes spill into our schools. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. The way the students who were there, both from Frederick High and TJ High, who had been in that basketball game, you could not have asked for better behavior, understanding, and incredible patience because these folks were there for hours while they had to wait to be interviewed for the police to make sure that the building was secure. So let's talk about what is going to happen today. Because the criminal investigation needs to continue, Frederick High School will be closed to students. Staff will report and they will be able to work at the school. As the building was being evacuated yesterday, Many community members and students had to leave their personal belongings in Frederick High School. Today, there will be communication going out that will let you know how you can get your belongings back. Students in the Frederick High School community 
who want to talk to a counselor about what happened yesterday, there will be counselors available at the school today and students may go to the school and meet with those counselors if they feel the need. For our students at TJ High School, there will be staff there as well prepared to talk to any student who is troubled or has concerns about what happened yesterday. The staff at TJ High School had a faculty meeting this morning so that they are all prepared, they understand what happened, and they know that once again, in collaboration with our police departments, we are going to have additional officers at the school as well as patrols. But we know, and we made the decision to open our schools today because we are going to maintain instruction and we know that our students will be in a safe environment. When something like this happens, it is unnerving. And I certainly understand, as a parent myself, the concern that parents may be feeling about whether or not I should send my child to school. Please know that the safety of our students and our staff is always our top priority. We work very closely with law enforcement. We have made the decisions that we feel are right in this case. And we believe that having our students in their school is a safe choice for you as a parent.